in this uh, segment we are going to convert our uh, g-code into shopbots uh, SBP or shopbot protocol files um, to run even though um, shopbot uh, claims to be able to run g-code they don't support the full thing and if you try to run one of these files uh, you'll get an error claiming so here's our uh, drill file g-code you'll get an error complaining that um, g94 is not supported and that's the feed rate control so they do provide a utility um, that converts g-code into SBP so if you go to opensbp.com and uh, scroll down you'll see download g-code to open SBP converter and you can download that install that here okay so this is a very crude utility and uh, you'll see I'm going to copy the uh, file name open the utility there's no way to navigate and you hit convert and uh, this will close on its own so now you have a uh, SBP file okay and you've got to do that for all the g-code files I think exit doesn't appear to do anything, that's why I'm just waiting. Okay, so we should you should now have four SBP files, and you'd think you could go run these on your shop bot, but you can't because they don't work this utility does not work correctly. So we've got to hand massage these. All right. Okay, so we're going to start with the top artwork this time, and uh, we're going to add some stuff to it. Uh, shop bots are not inherently metric friendly. So if you ran this file, it would try to run it as English units. Um, to make sure you don't do that, we are going to add a uh, the VDD or VD command to go metric. So that makes it metric. So that's three commas. All right. And then I have had some issues where um, the spindle wouldn't start, and uh, so I've been adding the TR command which is the spindle speed but I don't know if that's actually uh, resolving my issue or not alright so one of the weird gotchas that conversion utility is it's missing a comma here which uh, keeps it from the line from running so this is your spindle on this is your spin RPM this is uh, 18,000 RPM, which is the maximum speed of our shop bot with our uh, spindle, our industrial spindle. Um, so the other quirk of this utility is that even though there's a dwell command in the G code, um, here I'll, we'll call it up here. Uh, where's the dwell command? Here, this GO4P1. That's hopefully a one-second uh, 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 delay to allow the spindle to speed up. Uh, translates into 0 0.0 delay, and if you run this, it it just doesn't delay. So 
what we're going to do is delete that and we're going to put a comment in front of this okay so shopbot's uh, scripting language takes a unqualified pause and uses the comment above it to make a dialog box with that comment as the uh, text in it so this is going to wait for you to hit OK and that will keep the uh, and if the spindle for whatever reason doesn't start up you can stop it and not let it run and that'll keep you from breaking your expensive bit so we're going to do that so you, with these big long files you got to remember to scroll all the way to the bottom and correct the uh, spindle off spindle off command otherwise your spindle won't turn off all right so we're going to take everything we just did and we're going to copy it over to the other files all right but you can only copy it where the feed rate's the same don't forget the uh, comma at at the bottom okay so the full part cutout has a different feed rate so we're just going to uh, move that in Okay, and don't forget the comma. All right, so you're looking at these numbers, and I'm telling you this is the feed rate, but that doesn't match. Let's get rid of this. That doesn't match what I typed in earlier. So what is this? This is the feed rate in millimeters per second, and not millimeters per minute, as we entered earlier. That's just a quirk of the uh, SBP language. So if you multiply this times um, 60, you will uh, get your uh, 508 millimeters per minute. OK. So we're all done. We've made all the files. Um, and these are runnable in the ShopBot now. Assuming you typed them correctly. Um, but we do need to make it a carrier, which is going to be the uh, next segment, to with registration pins. So you can rotate the PCB around and route the back and still maintain the alignment. Um, flat cam does have an ability to do registration pins but you have more control and I like to use the ShopBot uh, VCarve cam software uh, so you can do ramping and other things.